guys, it's Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and uh, today I am bringing you a tutorial on the pixelation effect within Photoshop. I actually have my little friend here. He, uh, he tends to carry over in my designs, watches me work, and uh, he gives me gives me input on my designs. So um, I figured we were actually going to use him in this tutorial. And that is what we're going to do. We're actually going to pixelate him. So, there you go. What we're going to do is uh, select our pen tool. And we're going to get the portion. We don't want to pixelate the whole thing. I'm just going to show you the difference. So, we're only going to pixelate half. Um, what you do is you take your pen tool. And you just kind of select out a bit here. You know, whichever portion of your image you want to pixelate and uh, we're gonna feather this selection but to get the selection we hop on over to the pass control click the selection to get it and go back over to your layers tab then we're gonna go to select modify and feather and my phone is ringing um, I'm just gonna have to call that person back um, anyway, you go to feather selection and you feather it by uh, 10 pixels in this case, that would work just enough. And then you go to uh, filter. And if you're on CS3, you're going to have to click show all menu items down here at the bottom. And you click that, and then you go to pixelate. And it should drop down a list that says well the one you want to click is Mosiac and you click Mosiac and by default the value is 8 s pixels or 8 well it's not even pixels that's what we're doing it's pixelating it's the cell size uh, for the filter it is 8 and you can adjust this from right to left obviously you can see kinda what this does here anywhere from you know 2 up a little bit and you start to get different effects 10 looks pretty nice I like 10 um, let me just try something a little more complex, like 8, maybe 9. Yeah, 9 is good. I like 9. So I'm going to hit OK. Control D to deselect that. And uh, one more thing we're going to do to this guy is we're going to make him reflect. So if you had a cloud or something, or if you had a, uh, you know, your logo, and you wanted the corner of it to be pixelated, you know, add a nice little graphical touch to it, and then reflect it, You'd be, you'd be in good shape. So that's what we're going to do, though, is we're going to reflect it. And I've covered reflections in my previous tutorials. The first thing you do is you just duplicate the layer. We're actually going to call this layer uh, friend. And we're going to duplicate this layer. Okay. And then we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and then Flip Vertical. And somebody is calling me back again. Um, okay, I'm going to have to call that person back. Hopefully it's not an emergency and I'm not hanging up because of a tutorial. But i got to finish this. So you hold Control and Shift to drag it down there. And then you select your gradient tool. And you come up here to the top left. And you select the second one on the list, the second dynam dynamic gradient. It's foreground and transparent. And go ahead and click OK. So now you have that selected. And swap your colors until you have black as your foreground color. You can see up here, that's what it looks like. So it's black to transparent. And you want to click on the mode and set the mode to linear light. And then basically this is it. You just click the add layer mask button to our copied layer and uh, you know drag up a reflection and you just play with it holding, holding down shift till you get something that you like and uh, pretty much there you go guys this is a tutorial on a uh, pixelation pixelation effect you can apply to your graphics and at the end there just because I decided to add in a reflection Guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. This has been another tutorial. Take care.